From Mike Judge, creator of Beavis and Butthead and co-creator of King of the Hill, comes a movie about people who go to work. <laughs> Who are part of a team. And remember, next Friday is Hawaiian Shirt Day. Okay, if I could set the building on fire. Who respect their boss. We need to talk about your flair. Well, I have 15, 15 pieces on. 15 is the minimum. Brian, for example, has 37 pieces of flair on today. <laughs> and a terrific smile. And need to escape. I don't like my job, and I don't think I'm gonna go anymore. One of these days, I, I, I just, I just kick this piece of. I'm thinking now it might be more fun to just get fired. And I've always wondered what that would take. Oh, Peter, listen. Uh, well, it looks like you've been missing quite a bit of work lately. Well, I wouldn't say I've been missing it, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a straight shooter with upper management written all over him. We're going to be getting rid of these people here. Mr. Samir. OK, I got it. Najat. 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 Not going to work here anymore anyway. <laughs> You haven't been showing up and you got to keep your job. Actually, I'm being promoted. Thank you, Bob. This is a, a suck. They're going to throw you out on the street so that Bill Lumberg's stock will go up. Ooh. It's completely unfair. Inatech deserves to go down. We're just the guys to do it. Tell me about that virus you're always talking about. The one that could rip off the company for a bunch of money. I'm not going to do anything illegal, Peter. Illegal? Samir, this is America. The worst they're gonna do is they put you in a white collar minimum security resort for a couple of months. You know they have conjugal visits there? I might be showing her my O face. Oh, oh. They let you have sex with women? They sure do. Okay, I'll do it. Office space. I know you've been getting pretty depressed about your job and everything, and so I just wanted to tell you good things can happen in this world. I mean, look at me. <laughs> I'm thinking now it might be more fun to just get fired. And I've always wondered what that would take. Oh, Peter, listen. Uh, well, it looks like you've been missing quite a bit of work lately. Well, I wouldn't say I've been missing it, Bob. <laughs> <laughs>